Welcome back everyone and welcome to Man of Medan, the first game in the Dark Pictures anthology. Recently saw a stream of House of Ashes, which is the I think the fourth game in this uh, anthology and I really enjoyed watching that and it looked a uh, pretty uh, nice story driven game so I wanted to start the anthology myself. Hopefully you'll join me all for the playthrough as we start off with Man of Medan. So as always, let's jump right in. We are in, here we go. Boatyard here. Big old ship. Oh, is that a... Is that a casket there, draped in the American flag? Joe, Dockside Market, Manchuria, 9.12pm. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Oh, staggering around after the sesh. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. I was going to go and riz her up. You can fight, right? Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Was he gonna fight her? Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do it, You even ma. Use R to choose. Uh, ask about our son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh, is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? What? Is that a dragon and a, I don't know what the hell the other one is, bamboo? Uh, use R to choose. Uh, dragon? Don't know what they would mean, but. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects. Use R to examine. And flip it around. Oh, fish. Looks like a fish. Okay. What does that mean? Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Death and doom are sure to follow. Hey, Christ, here we go. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? You know, be need a pony that the gun how my young shit. Easy, cost of gun. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Right, here we go. We're fighting this thing, are we? Uh, use that and press that to punch. Oh, yeah. Nice body shot. Oh, that's it. Press the correct button before the timer runs out. Square. Nice. Easy. He says. Duck under that one. Come on, man. Yes. Bang. Duck under. 
under that one. Easy. Bang. Done. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? The karate master. Here we go. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. I say the graphics look pretty decent. I don't know exactly how old this game is, but it looks great. Is that skull and crossbones on a casket? Jesus Christ. Skulls. I mean, it looked more sober than that five minutes ago. Hey man! Hey, where's my, where's my fifty cents? Fifty cents? What fifty cents? Come on, man! Hey, buzz off! Buddy. Nobody pushes me around. Oh! Knockout, man. Absolutely KO'd there. Bloody hell. Right, here we go. Ship is departing. leaking out whatever it is. <laughs> Don't even know what it is. Been hit by the lightning. They're chained up. Whoever's in there, they're chained up. AM. What the hell were they sedating us for? Thought they were trying to bring us back around again, weren't they? Oh, here we go. Right. Explore a ship. Find a way out of the sick bay. Kid, who is this our kid? To Pops. Come back soon. Maybe it is. Who knows? Right. What we got over here? Oh, lockers flashed there. Uh, R2 pull. Jesus! What the hell? Oh, key. That must be the key to get us out here. Grab that one. Can we get this notepad here? Cool guy. Can't get this notebook. No? Okay. There's something here on the desk for us. Nope. Okay. Got no freedom whatsoever over the camera. Or extremely limited, so oh here's the doorway. Very Resident Evil style camera from back in the day. 
right, here we go. We're out of the sick bay. Uh, this way. Um, oh, we can only go one way. out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Okay. Find out what's happening on the ship. Let's get out of here, man. Alright. Down this way. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, press X in time with the heartbeat. Holy shit. Okay. Point. Has this guy got like superhuman hearing or something? Can hear our heartbeat. He's gone, he's gone. Bloody hell. What the hell's he shooting at? He's reanimated corpses or something. Okay, down here. Whoa, jeez. What was that? Kid. Oh, can we go down here? Doorway. There's some kind of gas on the floor here or something. We're walking through. Hey, Charlie, help! Ooh, hello. Fuck hell. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. Fubar. I don't even know what that means, you know. Fubar. I'll have to Google that. So, did he try to barricade that door? And then got shot in the back? Right. Can we go this way? Uh, nope. <laughs> we just got stuck against the wall. Right, here we go. Or this gas or dust or whatever the hell it is. Who is it? Can you? Oh, damn it, Buckley! Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Can I look at him. Look at his eyes, man. Is that the Undertaker? Okay, not good. Whatever is going on here. Uh. Oh, that is a good camera shot. I gotta say. Artistic. Nice. Okay. Through the doorway. Uh, hold L1 to walk faster. Can we go down here? Anything for us? Oh. Doorway. Oh. Locked. Shit. Uh, no sign of the key. Right, off we go. Get back behind Charlie or back to Charlie. Hold three. It was hold two where the crates were, wasn't it? So we're not going where these bodies are. Trucks. <laughs> Shit. Is that a kid again? Hey, Joe? You see that kid over there? Uh. No. Feeling all right? Okay, we're either hallucinating or something really bad is happening here. More bodies. More gas as well, everywhere. Charlie, get over here. It's like half a dozen bodies. Oh my god, look at them all. 
straight headshot for that guy. God, he looks in a bad way. Look at his eyes there, man. again what the hell man gas everywhere hey come here oh no not having that whoa what the hell oh god no Charlie Oh, what? This demon child here? Oh my god. What the hell? Uh, oh shit, shoot him. How the f- What the hell? Did I miss my shot? What the hell happened there? What? Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! Oh, I've completely out of radio range here. Power's gone.
You're back to try again. Excellent. Everyone likes a trier. I do hope you get the outcomes that you want. That was brief. Jesus. Didn't say much. This is Brad, Duke of Milan. Witty, innocent. Alex's brother. Uh, Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, motivated, insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Been busy, man. Uh, I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Whoa, whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man, it's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, well, I was invited, man. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? No. Oh. Julia? Not yeah, you, man. though. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... Bit of an asshole. The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Uh... Must be empathetic, even though he's being horrible to us. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh... Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? Oh, God. I don't know what's the right thing to do. Is he going to propose? Uh, go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia, fuck. Oh, that smile, honestly, excited, reckless. I can't go over how bad that smile is. Conrad, Julia's brother, foolhardy, relaxed. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. What's up, man? <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. He hasn't heard a thing, clearly. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would've gone with minutes. That's awkward, isn't it? Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Hey. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Bradical. Blah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Uh, yeah, all the time, man. Yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. 
I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, nope, not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trip. Never been diving. One thing I've never done. <laughs> I think it's for the rich, though, to be fair. Where's it? the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Here she is, Fliss, impatient, courageous, captain of the Duke of Milan. Nice tattoo. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... You're already half cut. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Christ. Poor guy. Is that one beer? That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Here we go. Alex, Duke of Milan. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh, Brad did his homework. Brad knows his stuff, Brad man. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Let's do it the right way, man. Come on. Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? I'm touched. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Check on your bro. Right, okay, here we go. What we got here. Nothing. Nothing out there at all. Which is good. Okay, let's just explore the ship a little bit here. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Look at this ship. It's not a ship, is it? I was going to say, look at this ship. It isn't. It's a plane. <laughs> Where's the opening that we're meant to be able to get into here? Oh, there. Nice. Cool. Let's get that down. So we are going diving on a plane wreck. Can we speak to her Almost or not? Got the gear good to go. Uh, should we say need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. 
Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uh, let's say, play cool. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Such an echo in the audio. I don't understand why it's echoing. Can we talk to Flissy? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Uh, let's, let's be polite. Got to be polite to Fliss. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, self-assured, sure. dived a couple of wrecks. Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Uh, belligerent, who's gonna know? It's not ideal, is it? Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. 100% man. Felicity Dubois. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated speciality as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. This doesn't look kosher. Oh, fake diving instructor license. Can we confront her about it? Oh shit, we turned off. <laughs> you know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. Okay, let's find our brother. Huh. What am I looking at here? Ah, uh, okay. So it's one of those. Premonitions. Premonition high and dry. Nice. Okay. Uh, anything in here? Locked. Can we get in this room? Covered. I don't suppose our brother's in there. I'm what we got sure here? Julia left anything on the mainland. What's this? Do. Do eau de parfum. Only smelled as good as it costs. At least it made her happy. Shroud of Innocence. The Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything else here, I don't think. Is there? Nope. Right, we need to find our brother in here, surely. So how you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Uh, don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. No worries, More dude. More than that, just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Right, here we go. Tanks are ready. You're in the way, man. Okay, so this is the rebreather. 
way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh, thanks for setting me straight. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Ah, oh, what a creep. Getting on the riz. Uh, take this stick thing. Is it like a cattle prod? I know the way is interminable, but soon. I got the bank stick. Oh, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? Right, on a shark? No. Nope. Good to go. Uh, check the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Oh God! Look at oh, look at this smile. Is that an actual like haunting smile? Down they go. Oh, you good? More or less. Oh shit. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Heard that Man. before. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Fucking remarkable. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Jesus, man. Uh, I need to focus. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's not rude at all, is it? Uh, never ask a lady about her money. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh, sorry, got enough on my plate. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Absolutely slammed the door on him there. Right, uh, turn this thing on again. Weather looks clear. Good. Right, uh... Now this... We've already looked at. Nothing... New there. She's locking it away. Fair enough. Right, let's get down here. Can we look at this premonition again? Yeah, we can, yeah. Oh, nothing happens. <laughs> right, cupboard. For the beers, nope. Uh, nothing along there. Can we get in there? Oh, we can, yeah. It was locked previously. Ah, oh, there's another premonition here. Same perfume again. Put that back. She's 
get out of here. What's the point? We've seen it already. Uh, can we talk to Brad? If I can't even get out this doorway. Oh, he's has he closed the door? What the hell? How's oh, there we going? go. Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Uh, go easy on the booze. Uh, notification. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Uh, what do you what do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Uh, what got you into World War Two? What got you into World War Two? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Nice. Um, you uh, I hope they respect the site, 100%. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. They understand the rules. They get it. But, I'm not sure how much that actually matters to Julia. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Uh-oh. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. We speak to this guy. Hey there, how's it hanging? Uh, taking advantage of your relaxation time? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Uh, too bad charm is so are you beach? What does that mean? I just be playful. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. That's no way to chat a woman up, is it? Knock her out. <laughs> uh, I have to keep track of the dive. Oh, can we be romantic? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Oh, private. Just, just chatting it up damn. in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> calm, calm yourself, dude. Oh, pint of frosty amber liquid. Seriously, calm yourself, Conrad. Radio. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Nothing. It's not the best designs. They've drowned, clearly. Two less problems to deal with. And then, oh. Are these binoc can they binoculars zoom? How good is that? Shit, something's coming. Music getting suspenseful. Oh, here we go. What's that about? Pirates. Uh, fishing boat. Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Uh, be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Well, they've just uh, get out of here, man. We've got people in the water. Get out of here! What do you think you're doing? Oh, they gone. That was it. That was easy. Another back. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. What a voice. Take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops! My bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Make it rain, baby. Oh, did he just growl? Did he actually just growl, that man there? Look at that. 
plane, man. Going in algae hand. Uh oh. Skull. Is that a bullet hole in its head as well? Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh man, that metal pole. Shark's about you end up really cutting yourself getting them all in. Squat. Oh, what the hell happened there? That was quick. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. I've seen enough uh, Bond films first? to know one drop of water gets all the sharks coming. Uh, right. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh, oh whoa, what the hell? Is she having a heart attack or something? What the hell was that? Devil and the Deep. Premonition. Nice. Okay. Uh, got limited control over the torch. Why would you have a painting on a plane? Can we just ask that? Anything here? Oh, you got to look all the time for anything that might pop up here. Is this a bullet hole? And bullet, obviously. <laughs> Secret found. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Okay, what else? There's gotta be something along. Here for us, is there? Oh, X. There we go. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Oh, something Good else. God. Navigator. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Picture of his wife and kids. Certainly a picture of a girl. Wow. What the hell happened here? And we'll look at things. They knew they were goners. What else we got? Are we getting this door? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Hear what? <laughs> Boom! That's what it's for. Oh, you? Uh, she dropped it. Useless, is it? No. So what if a shark comes? <gasps> He's got a gun. Fucking up, Jesus Christ! Whoa. That's good. <laughs> Life gives you lemons. Holy shit! That actually scared the shit on me. <laughs> pilot and co-pilot, gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Except he's got a hole in the back of his skull. By the looks of it, so someone shot him, honey. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't give a shit. She knows best. <sighs> oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! <sighs> Alright, what else we got here? Go back. Is there anything in there that we've missed? Um, no. Where, 
where the hell did the guy with the gun go? Just vanished. Anything else for us in here? Uh, we've already seen. Something. Yeah, well, we've already seen this. Let's put that back. Let's get the hell out of here then, I guess. Can we get back out the way we can? X. What's that? Oh, God. Oh. Leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Uh, live a little. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. She's taking her mask off. The hell? Let her drown. I don't really like these two already. They're just typical, like, rich kids. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> what the Christ? Shit, man. Uh oh. Look all the condensation on it. You do something stupid down here. That's it. One chance. You get that. Uh, I was fine. Chill out. I'm fine. See, no problemo. No problemo. Searching in progress. Searched area one. Clear area two. Clear area three. Clear. It says it was a rescue plane. Oh. Launched from a U.S. base. Text obscured. Who knows? They were on their way to help out a ship. Are we done? We gotta get out of here now. <laughs> oh shit! Shark? Now there's a shark. Shark. She's it's a great few minutes. She? Shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. Are you idiot? He's gonna propose underwater, is he? You are oh, you fucking idiot? Oh. Look at that. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? Uh, we almost died. What a tit doing this underwater as well? I, I, Come on, man. Oh, crap. Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Uh, let's say yes. Come on, let's get him married off. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> we see the big shark to come out the water now. Take them both or take the All finger, right, can you imagine? Hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. She got her own problems above water. Hey, Gotta decompress here. Holy shit! Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! 
Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. This is taking too long. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Oh, go. There we go. What happens hey, if you don't decompress? On? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Is that the barbecue? Cash everywhere, barbecue on fire. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, Damn. what is wrong with you? Uh, what are you paying the ocean? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Good. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Uh, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? It does have a nice ring to it. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Plans? I mean, you've tried to foot the bill now. Come on, man. Uh, let's plan it together. You've been engaged now for like 10 minutes. Language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Uh, of course. What, of course I was going to say no? Does that mean? Of course. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. God. Uh. So you can walk all over me. Like a rug so you can walk all over me? Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Sure. Okay, try to think what they're actually doing. Whoa! Jesus! You're just gonna... 
You're gonna stand and watch, eh? Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, she's ready. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Okay, search for the nav pad. Is this? Oh, this is a camera. Oh, is that? Is that it? Oh, there we go. Christ. How many bros in that sentence there? It's like a ton of Vince Russo or something. Still, we're over the top, bro. Bro, again, more bro. Christ. So, uh, right, can we get down here? Will it actually let me <laughs> go down? There we go. Cool. Right, what we got? Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too. Keep looking at these pictures here. Didn't do anything. Gonna go and find Julia? You're joking. She's been gone like two minutes. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Give me a chance. No, no, not yet. I got distracted. Christ, how clingy is he? Got it. Let's go up. She's getting out of there fast. Come here, you vixen. You vixen. Who even says that? Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, let's, we've got to be nice to Fliss. Uh, okay, apologetic. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. She looks very disingenuous. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, yeah, let's hear it. Come on. Tell us it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? 
If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Uh, shush. Shut up, Conrad. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Uh, so gross. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees, it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, old, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. There is something just really disturbing about the smiles on this game here. <laughs> you have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Oh, there's a uh -uh. storm no, coming. No, because no, no. no, according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following it's orders, my kind man. of website. Man. I'm into this website. <laughs> Give me the address. Worry, and I'm out. Hell of a storm. It's a guy from the boat. Strange eye, he's only got one eye as well. Him and Targaryen look alike. Uh, Ungag. Let's get the gag off uh, Alex here.
Oh, that way? It's inverted. That's weird. That would knack. I have a beard. That would knack. Getting tape torn off like that. Uh, let's unguard her as well. Let everyone get talking here. Trying to figure this out. Bush. Gone. Bleeding. Oh yeah, we hit him with a bottle, didn't we? Yeah. Hey. Oh, she's in trouble now. Fliss, been taken. ourselves can we Fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Yeah, go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> this guy, Captain Phillips. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Imagine. Shoot him. Oh. Hit him again. Uh, what do you want? What do you fuckers want? Oh shit. I caught him up. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Uh, please just stop. Maybe I'm saying fuck you is... What a voice. It's a James Earl Jones with a pirate in the world. Be on your best behavior, little man. Uh, just get off me. Get off! Get off! Me. <laughs> Shit, man, Brad's hiding. Now they know that you're untied as well. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. 
Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. You've been praying on the door, and they already know. They're coming. situation now waiting for their parents to pay them out idea because uh, we've seen the guy with the gun these fuckers need to pay these fuckers need to pay we gotta take them down yeah man. we can try to fight back but if we had the gun they'd be forced to surrender seven seconds i can get out through the window we gotta break these off first too loud they'll hear it but we're gonna break them during the thunder <sighs> good call i climb out the window climb around the side and hit them from there we'll take them from the other side don't leave us here okay okay Let's do it. Can we even get out that door? Is it, is it unlocked? Well, I pressed that button and nothing happened. with a heartbeat again. Uh oh, Fliss saying don't do it. Oh, oh that was close. Shit. Has everybody got... S do him, stab him up. Uh, grab knife. Stab him up. Come on! Shit, square. Oh my god. Yes! Is this guy even gonna care? Buster. Conrad! Easy. Slips the rope, man. Fliss. I got this. Let me handle it. Oh, no way. Oh, what? He's useless, isn't he? Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. No! Just get to the boat! trying to kill me or sir. Take. Oh, fuck it. Oh, no. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. So I don't want to escape because we've seen the premonition where I'm presuming to get shot. Sit down. Over there. Over there. They've all got right insane voices, man. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. the treasure on the treasure map
which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? This is a different outfit. Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Uh, how dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You can fucking tell We're him. all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Put a thumb in it, man. Oh, Christ. Oh. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Air attack area. At it again. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Okay, we better be compliant here because we balls up the last attempt. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Uh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. No! Oh, hell. Oh, God. Can't do a sliss. It's a bad storm here. Oh my god, Fliss. Oh shit. Wait! Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Oh god, what's pouring in? Uh Salpa, give her a hand. You need a quick time event for that, Wait. Right? Now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. Uh, he might. He could drown under that water there. You can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Whoa. I mean, he was kind of your last chance of maybe taking these guys out. As hopeless as he is. But you've just literally given away his position.
Jawohl, Chocolate. Everyone's still alive. You sound surprised. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah, man, I'll take a spoiler. Uh, forewarned is forearmed. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. They got booze stashed in a book? Has he got a problem? Probably shouldn't have said that. Probably shouldn't have revealed your secret booze stash either. Who, the, who keeps... Whiskey in a book? Hiding it from his missus? La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Oh, there's some ladders there up to the door. Oh, here we go. Junior! Retire la tête à l'image. 